Hello, welcome to Vedial Vagaparai. In this video, we are going to study stereochemistry of E2 reaction. This video is based on JAM 22 question. Let us see the question first. The question says, the major product formed in the reaction of 2S3R, 2-chloro-3-phenylbutane with sodium ethoxide in ethanol is. And then you have given four different options. So, three elimination product and one substitution product. So, in order to solve this particular question, first and foremost, we must understand the configuration of this particular compound and, and how to draw this particular compound in Fisher's notation and Saha's notation so that we can draw the elimination product. And secondly, we must know the presence of this base, a strong base, uh, in, indicates uh, an elimination reaction and what kind of elimination reaction is the second thing that we will see. And finally, the products that are formed and we see the products that are formed are also having some configuration to them. So, if it, they are alkenes, then we must assign them as E or Z or uh, if it is a substituted product, then we have to assign RS notation. So, in total, there are three things that we will see. First, the configuration or the stereochemistry and then secondly, the kind of elimination reaction and the stereochemistry of the molecule to undergo elimination reaction. So, first and foremost, let us start with the structure of the molecule. So, when you write the structure of the molecule, we know pretty well that there are a lot of things that we have to keep in mind. First and foremost, you can start writing the structure of the molecule as a straight carbon compound and then draw the Fisher notation as per the assignment that is given here, that is 2R3S. Here, I have, for want of time, I have written the pressure notation uh, yeah, as per this particular compound. So, when you are uh, wondering well, how do I know or how do I assign Fisher notation, I will just uh, mark it and show to you so that uh, it will be easy for you. So, we have numbered the carbon from the side where the halogen is. So, this is the way the carbons, the four carbons are numbered. And then secondly, we are going to see the RS no notation for the chiral carbons. So, we are going to see the configuration. So, in this uh, case, let us take the first, uh, the second carbon. We know the halogen ha has number 1. Then uh, this carbon is now 2. The methyl is 3. So, uh, the order is in the clockwise, but then the least priority group is in the horizontal position. So, it is 2S. And then coming to the second case, again, this carbon is the first and then uh, the phenyl will become second and then the methyl is third. So, this goes in the counterclockwise direction, but uh, the least priority is in the horizontal direction. So, the notation is R, 3R. So, this is how the name of the compound uh, is assigned and we can accordingly write the Fisher notation of an optically active compound. And uh, uh, the Fisher notation is quite easier to write when compared to the other notations. So, from Fisher notation, we can go to write the Sawhorse notation. So, when we write the Sawhorse notation, we must remember that it is always eclipsed and in 2y form. So, the Fisher notation, when it is converted to the Sawhorse notation, it is like 2y's and we see whatever is on the left hand side is on the left hand side. So, we see here the groups that are on the left are on the left and the groups that are on the right are on the right. So, it is quite simple and straightforward to write the Fisher notation and convert it to the Sahars notation. And uh, we see the groups on top and bottom will go to the bottom. So, this is the eclipsed conformer and this is the simplest way a Sawhorse notation is represented. So, any representation from this is quite easy. So, uh, let us see the next representation. In this particular example, actually what we see is um, the sodium ethoxide which is a strong base. So, the reaction is 
elimination reaction. So for elimination reaction to happen, we know pretty well there are two groups that are there. The group that has the halogen atom that is the alpha carbon and then the neighboring group is the beta carbon. So when elimination is happening, the proton from the beta and the leaving group or the halogen from the alpha leaves and as a result, we get an alkene. But for appropriate reaction to happen, um, the Sahas notation should be drawn in such a way, the group that is going to leave must be anti to each other. Only then uh, the base can, because this is a E2 mechanism. So in an E2 mechanism, the base will attack and, the, and as a result, we will see the leaving group or the halogen will leave. So the next step is to convert this notation to a notation where these two groups are in the opposite direction like this. So how could it be done? Only simply we have to just rotate this through a circle so that the group here comes here, this group goes here and this group comes here. That is hydrogen comes in place of methyl, methyl goes in place of phenyl. Similarly, on the back carbon also, Chlorine will grow in place of methyl and methylene go in place of hydrogen and hydrogen will go in place of chlorine. So this is how the structure will look. So we see the chlorine has come to the place of methyl and uh, they have shifted place, all groups have shifted place and on the other carbon we see the hydrogen has shifted place with methyl and it is circular. So this is the first and foremost step that we must do for us to carry over this reaction to find the desired product. So the clue is sodium ethoxide in ethanol which is an indication that the reaction is E2 reaction and uh, because it is a strong base. And in case of an E2 reaction, we know the stereochemistry is quite straightforward. The elimination is anticoplanar in the sense the group that are leaving must be in the anti positions to each other in a staggered conformer. So likewise in this diagram, in this Sahas notation that we have drawn, we see the H and the Cl are anti to each other and now the, uh, uh, the presence of the base can abstract the proton and this group shifts into uh, the double bond uh, to form a double bond and then the halogen leaves. This way we get an alkene. So this alkene that is formed again should be named. So in this case what we see is the phenyl group and the methyl group on the first carbon on this side which is facing us and the hydrogen and the methyl group on the back side have now arranged themselves according in a planar geometry because it is a double bond. So this particular molecule again has to be understood properly to assign E and Z notation. So when I wanted to assign E and Z notation, we must look at the molecule like this that is see each of the carbon and assign priority to the groups attached to the carbon. So the carbon which I have drawn has the methyl group which is low priority than the phenyl group which is a high priority. Likewise, hydrogen is a low priority when compared to carbon which is a high priority. So when we see or when we assign priorities, then we see the molecule horizontally. So when we see the molecule horizontally, if we see similar groups on the same side, so low, low on the same side, high, high on the same side, then we assign the notation Z, same side, okay. And uh, if it was opposite, then we would have said it as E, which is antigen, zuzamen or antigen, okay. So it is very easy for students to remember if similar priority groups are on the same side, then it is given the notation Z. So here this particular molecule has a name Z2-phenyl-butene. So now let's go to the question. So in total the question says 
what is the major product formed from this alkyl halide in the presence of sodium ethoxide and ethanol and because sodium ethoxide favors e2 mechanism in a strong base and the starting material is stereochemically um, optically active and it has two stereo centers we must write the structure of the molecule in a way where the leaving group and the group that is abstracted are anti coplanar to each other and as a result e2 elimination of the groups leads to the formation of an alkene and this alkene is z2 phenyl 2 butene so this is an example of an e2 reaction which has a stereo selectivity hope you understood thank you